Yo, what's good gamers? We are back. So, so you guys how to demo, how to get it fully set up, how to get the TT5 save editor, how to get XP36 launcher, how to get a save as a setup as well, and yeah. I'll show you how to demo as well, but first let me show you guys how to set up, how to keep it up to date, how to like manage it if you need to, alright? So what you want to do is pretty simple. You want to basically open up you want to, your browser, whatever one it can be, okay? You can be Google, Chrome, whatever the fuck you want to use. Mine is Opera RTX browser, so I'm going to use mine. So once you are here, what you want to do is simple, okay? What you want to do is pretty much uh, set up save wizard. Now, what you want to do is simple. You don't want to click on this first one. Don't click on that. You want to click this one. Save wizard. The second one. The save wizard for Maxis. If it's a sponsor, don't click on it. Those are the fake ones. So once you are over here, you will notice the page. So by now, if you don't have it, I'm pretty sure it is three. <coughs> Sorry. I'm pretty sure it is, you get a code that lasts 3 years, after that you gotta renew. If you got the old codes, you don't need to renew whatsoever. And you can use 2 accounts every month to like update and like change the coding of them. But for the old one, it's 3 accounts every month, okay? It's easy as that, so buy a savers if you need it, they'll send you an email of your code. And obviously if you need to download it, it's right there to download. Alright, so that's simple, that's not hard at all. So as you can see, I got savers it over here, I don't need to worry about it. So yeah. Anyway, so once you're over here, what you want to do, that's wrong screen, hold on a sec. Anyway, so once you've done this, I will also put a this link in the description, so you can just click that link, it'll take you straight over there, so if you're worried about clicking links, it'll be in the description, right? So yeah, we are, so what you want to do is pretty simple, now you want to go to XP36 Hazard Launcher, right, Twitter, okay? Like, if I can actually spell his name right. So I've got, I've been in the Twitter multiple times, so this will be the first one. And well, if, if you need this, I'll put a link of his Twitter in the description as well, so you can go to his, uh, his Twitter. So, you will need to go to his first tweet, so not this one, I don't know, this is just the fucking retweet. So this one over here, yeah, so once you're over here, what you want to do is pretty simple, okay? It says that you can buy, save it, and not buy, uh, like download it. So yeah, so make sure you're on the up-to-date one, Mine's on, this one came on June 27th, but if you watch this video later on, it might be something else. This also works only for old gen. So if anyone's asking if this works for PS5, as you can see over here, save is it for PS4 Max, not PS5 Max. Alright, anyway, back to it. So once you're on the screen, it might be the top one for you. It might be a, a more updated one, depends when you're watching this video. But yeah, I am on the 12th. So what you want to do is pretty much download. Click it. And now we got all these ones. So, right, so save is it, I'll just show you how to download it right now. Now we want to download the installers. The installer is pretty much this, okay? Once you've done that, it's pretty simple. Just drag the file out and then it'll be over here. Well, you need to actually drag it over in here to the desktop, okay? Mine's over here, as you can see. So what the other things is, you need to download all this for, right? So you need this for to actually make it run. So what you want to do now is pretty simple, okay? So if you are trying to update your save editor, uh, save editor and it keeps giving an error, you need to do this, okay? And like if you try to delete the old one so you can get the new cars so you can actually make new modded cars because you know the rocks that does add new cars like if the if there's new cars in the game you'll always need to update it or it won't be there okay it's easy as that so what you want to do is pretty much go over here file pro you want to click over here you want to do so let's do that let's take that back so you want to do percentage local app data that's no caps percentage okay so accept so once you're over here, you got the XP36 Hazard Launcher, so click on it, you got GT5 Save Editor, or you might have some other folders, you can delete them, you just need one. And then you got all these, okay? You got all these, uh, this one you don't need to worry about, that you don't need to worry about at all. Let me just do this actually. There you go, that's better. So these are the main ones you need over here for now. So th th if you don't have those, you it won't work, you'll need to get them, okay? So you need to download all of them over here, from here, all this four. Oh, that's why you need to put them over here, okay? It's easier than that. I got five, I got a different one. I don't know what that is, I forgot, but it works. So, yeah. Anyway, you need those for minimum. So, once you've done that, you'll start working completely final download and as well, okay? So, once you have done that, and yeah, if you're updating, updating, make sure you delete the old ones. You don't need the old ones. Just delete them, put them in the trash, and obviously just click the yeah, empty recycle bin. Easy as that. So, once you got all this set up, you can close that. You want to open up XP36 Hazard Launcher. So, it'll give you this alert. You want to click yes, and I will wait for this to open up. So once it's opened up, pretty simple, it's not hard, let's go to full screen. Yeah, there you go, full screen. So now you want to find GT5 save editor right here, as you can see. And now it'll say run, but always make sure there's no update. If it says update, update it, alright? 
I didn't realize I had an update, but I guess I have an update as well. So I'm just going to update this real quick. And yeah, I'll, that was weird. I wasn't expecting that, but I'll be back in a second. All right, we are back. So as you can see, mine's updated. I didn't realize it was actually needed to update, but oh well. So now if you say it's uninstalled, you are completely fine. Okay, so what you want to do is simple. You press run. All right. Now if mine's already over here, so I don't. Why has it got two? Well, no matter. What that happened? Don't need that. Fair enough. I guess I got it updated, wasn't? Well, that's a bit confusing. Fair enough. But anyway, so then it should be on your home screen as you saw mine came over there. Uh, my desktop, I mean, no home screen. So we're just going to open that up right now. So you will need a DMO Lite file, okay? I will put a link of it in the description down below as well. Or I'll put it somewhere. I'll show you how to work. I'll put it in my Discord, actually. I'll make a. Yeah, I'll put it in my Discord. I'll put it in my Discord. I'll do it right now, actually. Think, thinking about that. I'll just do it right now. Uh, DMO file. And then it will be in there, right? Actually, no, we're not doing that in there. It's gonna be in the images, videos, and clips, and link. Got DMO file. So I'll put it in there. You guys can go and grab it. I'm just gonna make this channel up real quick. And I will be back with you guys in a solid second. Just give me two seconds. I need to actually make a file. There will be a Discord link in the description as well. So don't worry, there will be a Discord link. Alright, so as you can see, the ammo file is over there now. So if you just click on it, it will download it over here. And then you just want to drag it to your home screen or whatever, okay? So anyway, I can close this now. So yeah, it's pretty simple. Just download it and then just drag it over here. But as you can see, I've got plenty of them already. I don't need them anymore. So let me just put mine to recycle. Alright. So it's pretty simple what to do next. So you open this up. So what you want to do is so press open save. Open game save. And now you want to select the one you want to use. So I've already got one four of them ready. I've got four of them because I only made four of them, but just want to drop them. But normally you'll have one. Alright, you'll have one. Frozen way, you don't need to worry about that. Alright, uh, so I'm gonna open my one that I've already made. So I'm gonna open this. Or yes, click yes. So we're gonna open this. Let's wait for this to load real quick. It's gonna take a time. So make sure you got a USB as well. You will need a USB, okay? So let's just put this in full screen. You will need to go to garage. And now, once you're over here, you want to go to vehicle, right? So now we can search up whatever vehicle you want. If I wanted to search up, let's say, Gauntlet Classic Custom. Let's have Gauntlet, it should come up. Uh, if I, can, I can't spell it right now, Monday. I'll just search up fucking. What's a vehicle? Uh, why can't I remember any car's name right now? Oh, let me, let me think, let me think, let me think. Um, slump truck. There you go. So slump truck, and it should be there. As you see, first one came up. Just spell it right, and it'll be there, okay? So once you're here, let me show you what makes a car clean, what makes a car not clean. Okay, this is a horrible save. Uh, no, actually, yeah, let me just choose a different save. Hold on. So that's how we close the save as well. So let me just choose this, if I remember what this is. But if you want to close the save, just click on the X, okay? That's how we close the save, and then that's how we just put a new save, and if you, that's what you want, try to look for. So X is how to close the save. So we go back on garage. Ah, uh, that's a bad one. Okay, so what you want to do is simple, okay? So you want to go to brakes. Don't put HSW. If you put HSW brakes, what's going to happen is that every time you drop the car up, every time you drop the car, like it's in the game, it will crash, okay? Your game will crash. The game won't be able to handle it. So don't put any HSW upgrades on the vehicle. If you do that there will be consequences so make sure this everything's ready so horn there's a few unselected horns so start bang uh, start this one this one's unselected 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 okay those four are unselected horns it means they are modded this one is also unselected so halloween one two three four but unselected as well there's also christmas horn but you, it will get uh, it will get selected over time because it's only unselected during christmas well, no, it's unselected for a bit, but it, after that, it disappears, okay? So, plate, obviously, you need a Yankton. Don't have Yankton, then, yeah, I don't know why you're doing this, just don't. Suspension, makes this complacent, doesn't matter. This one's just the normal ones, they don't matter that much. Neon lane out as well, same thing. This one, you don't need to worry about if you got in RGB or whatever you want to use. So, that's the same. Front rims, this is the one you will need to choose the rims, okay? You can ignore this, you can ignore the rear rims. But you had to select front frame. So as you can see for this one, I've selected this. Yeah. So if you're modding a car, anything from here and from here are fine. Okay. Anything from here. And F1 wheels are that those are off-road. Never mind. Those are F1 wheels. 
I think. I'm pretty sure they are. So yeah, I don't do F1 wheels as you can see, because yeah, I don't, I don't like F1s. But anyway, rim color. There will be a few on selected. Anything that is basically, I think it's. Wait, hold on. Let me just see which. Where's mine? So mine's pure white. I think it's the one. Like, why can't I find it now? Wait, a rim color. Yeah, rim colors. There you go. Pure white. So yeah, anything with a diamond logo it says not obtainable in the game. That's uh, modded, okay? So anything that says a diamond logo, that'll be fine. That will be completely fine. That'll be unselected. Tire smoke color, it'll be automatically patriotic. But if you want to change it, you can obviously click on it. More colors, go to custom, and then change it to whatever you want. A man's going to stay the modded one. So yeah. Tire this, that's fine. Armor, it's in. Yep. Headlights, change the color if you want to. You play tax, just click on it. Just click on the plate. And now we can type. Once you're done, press enter. So I'll just change it to. Don't need to press enter, just press high, X. Well, now let me change it back because I need it back. So let me change it back to rental C. So there you go. Rental C. So transmission doesn't matter. Windows, you can either select clear or you can select light green, okay? One does two. Pure black, I'm pretty sure it turns into green, but I would, if I was just choose clear or light green, your choice always what do you want to choose. Those two are the only modded ones. Everything else is selected. Neon color, just click on it. It doesn't matter what you choose, you can choose whatever you want. Same thing. So yeah. And respray poli this respray for listen. All the diamond ones again are unselected, okay? I use pure white. You could use any other color if you like. Alright, so there you go, that's done. We rear rims you don't need to worry about. Respray custom, yeah, make switch both selected. Or it'll be a bit weird. More colors and then do the same thing again. So what you want to do is simple tire design. Um well all of them are modded pretty much. Uh, that will prove that it matter. There's extra stuff if you want to put on it. This is all just optional. Right? You don't need to put it on, but you can put it on if you like. Livery, I'm pretty sure it'll be diamond as well if it's uh, unselected. But yeah, I'm not going to put anything on, on. Especially don't put this on. You'll put it on, the game will crash every time. That's what happens, okay? So I think that's HSW, don't put it on because it will crash every time. So once you have finished up with your car, all you want to do is press save. So the game has been successfully saved. Press OK. Now we can close this up. Yes, doesn't matter. Alright, so now we can open up Save Wizard. Alright, so what's good gamers? Uh, let me just show how to export a save because I completely forgot in the first video to actually show you guys to how to do it, okay? So it's pretty simple. What you want to do is simple, right? So obviously you go to saves over here. So what you want to do, go back to home screen. You want to go to settings. So let me just turn it because you guys are sneaky with that shit. So let's go to settings. And we gonna obviously need a USB actually, so let me just get my USB out. You're not seeing me too bad. Let's go put my USB in real quick right now. Uh, yep, I'm on the camera. Right. Now. right. So USB's up. We're going to go to uh, save data, and then we're going to go to console storage. Okay, so save data PS4 console storage. No, that's cloud. Fuck me. Console storage. You're gonna go to copy to USB drive. There you go, and now you want to click this. And now you want to select any of a normal save, okay? So like anything like reuniting the family will work, this will also work fine. Not backups, make sure it's normal ones. So not a backups, just the normal ones, okay? So any of them will work fine. I already got a save ready, so I don't need to transfer it. And then you just put it in your save wizard, and then it'll do it. And then it's gonna do the rest of steps normally, okay? I'll see you guys in a bit. Obviously, when you first uh, start it up, you need to put your actual code in and let you in. So press OK. We're gonna go down here, download games. So now uh, you will need to put a USB in. So let me go and find my USB real quick. It's in my drawer right there. So let me just put my USB in my PC. So I can actually do this. All right, I have no clue why my voice is not in this, but for some reason my mic's cut out in this. But anyway, so you'll have your USB as you can see. So this is, I'm doing this while I'm editing it, so heads up. So you'll have your file over there, your file will be completely there. So that's fine, you can go to save wizard, and now we just want to click on it, right click it, and now we want to pretty much press ad advanced mode, okay? It will be back now to normal voice. Advanced mode, yeah. So as you can see, I got two profiles. You need to make a profile, settings, profile manager. It'll, s it'll be only two for you guys if you just bought it. For the old ones here, yeah, you'll have three.
So, what's good gamers? Here we are. Alright, there's a PS5 set up. We got everything ready. There's my USB. We are ready to put this in. So, let's just put this in my lovely PS5 over here. Um, that's the wrong way. That's good. That's a good start. So, doesn't matter if it's fun. You can obviously put it in the back if you want. Doesn't matter. If you're using PS5, you can put it in there as well. Alright, so here we are. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings. I'm not showing you guys my reflection, alright? So you're not getting a face wheel. So you're gonna go to network. No, no, network. You're gonna go down if you're on a PS5. You're gonna go on the save data and gameplay settings. So let's go on that. You're gonna save data PS4, USB drive. Click on that. Copy to console storage. All right. So just press copy. And I'm gonna click yes on this. So once you've done that, it'll be on your PS5 now. So what you wanna do is pretty simple. Now you want to go to settings, uh, well, network. You want to go to connection status, you want to go to settings. Go to setup internet connection. Now you want to press options over here, once you've selected your Wi-Fi. Advanced settings. And now you want to basically go over here where it says MTU settings, okay? So then we are automatic, you want to set it to manual. Now we can select, everyone's got a different MTU, you no know, one's got the same one. So you can select anything between 900 to 950, okay? So it could be 901, it could be 900, anything, right? So it just depends on your luck and whatever, right? So mine sometimes works at 901, sometimes works at 902, but you'll have to try all of them and you'll really figure out which one, okay? So once you've done that, just press okay. You obviously do it, connect it to this access point. And now, and now apparently my disk is not what to save. Apparently, yeah, you just for some reason it has not recorded that part, but either way, that's literally the end. So, once you've done it, all you want to do is basically just yeah, watch the next part of the video. All right, you have made this part of the video, so let me explain. This is the part of your friend, this is not what you do. You will need a friend for this, so make sure you have a friend, okay? You will tell your friend to load into any game if you're. If you're not using Anavac, you will need to tell him to load into a free aim invite only game, okay? So if your friend, as you can see in the title, more free aim. If your friend is, is studying Titan for you because Anavac is offline, just tell him to go to free aim, go to invite only, and make himself to the spot right here, okay? So pause the video, go to the spot over here, right there, at his exact place. So open the drag so when you make your spot last location. What you want to do is pretty simple. Change your outfit so it actually saves. So as you can see. My spot's last location and I'm going to change my outfit. Remember, this is the person that's helping you, not you. The person that's helping you. Alright, so this is not... You don't have to worry about it. Your friend has to worry about it, okay? So your friend just stays over here the entire time. The thing is that if, if the Anavac is offline, you can use your friend, okay? You just need to tell your friend to press options, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, rocks are created, missions and stand up a talent of a job, okay? And then you can use him then using just Anavac, okay? If you don't, if Anavac is down or if it's offline, just use him as a to do the MO. You can just use him while he's in Titan for job. Works completely fine. All right, I'm going to go to the part where you know you actually drop the car. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Gamers, so once you are down here, what you want to do is pretty simple. So you want to press options. You want to go to game. You want to press load game, and now you want to start up the reuniting the family. 60.2%. It should be date should be today. All right, the date should be today. So once you've done that, you should load into the save once you start it up. I don't need to start it up because, well, yeah, I'm already in it, as you can see. You'll be in a driver over here. What you want to do is swap to Franklin. So let's just swap to Franklin real quick. So you will need to use a cheat code over here, okay? So you will need to pretty much. So first of all, let's load. So let's wait for this to load. All right. So once you're outside, wait for the phone call. You'll get a phone call from Lester. As you can see, he's dialing me right now. Hang up instantly. Now, what you want to do is simple. On your PS5 or PS4 controller, you want to click R1 twice on your controller. Then you want to press circle. You want to press L2. Not L2, R2. And then the left D-pad and right D-pad, left D-pad, right D-pad, left D-pad, right D-pad, three times, okay? Until you get cops. If you do it five times, it doesn't happen, do it again. So you gotta be quick with this. So I'm um, gonna do this without saying because I'm just used to it. Alright, R1 right, right, circle, L2 left, right, left, right, right, and as you can see, cops on top right. Okay, that's the cheat code you want to use. It'll be on the screen, so you can just use that. Alright, so what we're gonna do is pretty simple. We're gonna hop in the car, and we're gonna go next to the cops. Okay, let's go to the cops right now. 
So here we are, just stop over here, let the cops come with us. So don't aim at them or anything. So once you're surrendering, as you just saw my character, so as you just saw my character has done that hands to cast the thingy, where he's showing that he's surrendering, you want to press options instantly, okay? So there's two ways you can do this. There are two ways that this work, all right? Some works for some people, other works for some other people. I'll show my way and I'll also show the other way that also works. It's just the fact you gotta find the correct MTU, you also gotta find the right way it works, okay? So you, what you wanna do is pretty simple, okay? You wanna press join, choose character, and then you wanna instantly suspend game. That means you can either open Netflix, Spotify, or YouTube, any on one of those three, okay? So you're gonna do that, and then you're gonna go back on the GTA Online. I'm gonna stop recording because well, it doesn't let me record that part, okay? I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, so what, so once you're on the screen, it's pretty simple. Press X, and then instantly suspend screen, uh, suspend the game, all right? It's not hard at all, nothing simple. So let's just do that right now. All right, here you go, I've got this alert, I've got the three banks already. So what you're gonna be doing is simple, okay? You'll be joining Anavac 2P4, or any of the Anavacs that are placed in 4. You gotta be quick though. And and then you're gonna wait for eight seconds, okay? So I'm gonna join Anavac 2P4 right now. There is two ways you can do this. If you want to do the first one, which is basically, you want to, uh, in, after eight seconds, you want to accept all the alerts and join Anavac instantly, okay? You don't wait, or you can do my way, which I'll show right now. So I'm just gonna wait at eight seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm gonna accept the alert. Don't accept the first alert. Wait till the black screen goes by, and then you're going to accept all the alerts. If this way doesn't work, try the other one I just said, which is join Anavac first. And now we're going to join Anavac again. Join Anavac again. If this one doesn't work, just try the first one, which is basically just join Anavac instantly. Accept all the alerts, join Anavac again. If that works, that works completely fine. If that doesn't work, try this. Like I said, you got like a different hundred of different MTUs you can try from, so... It's going to take you a while to get this, but once you get it, it'll work, alright? So I'm joining Anavac right now, that's fine. You'll be on this alert, do not click X, do not press circle, stay on this alert, okay? And then you'll be sw swapping back to the GTR flank character, aka Trevor. If you have done this right, what you want to do is pretty simple, press circle over here. So we can press circle, and we can press oh, pause. If it's done this, you have failed the glitch, you gotta do it again. That's probably because I've been too slow, so I'm gonna do this again, and I'll just fast forward it to the part where I've actually hit the glitch, alright? I'll see you guys in a sec. Doing this again, and well, I'll just wait, and uh, yeah, I think this will work now, hopefully. There we go, we got the alert. So same thing as before, it's the exact same thing. And you just gotta, yeah, like I said, I see right MTU, and it's just the timings. It's really inconsistent, so this will, this can make you rage, alright? Heads up, this can make you pretty pissed off at the glitz. If you don't have pace, this glitz ain't for you, that's just the truth. So just gonna wait for this to load real quick. And hopefully we actually have hit it correctly. Well, right, I said everyone's MTU is changed. It changes every time as well. So no one's MTU stable. We take away loading right now. So once the alert comes up, we decline. We instantly press pause. If we if we fully paused and we're not moving whatsoever, then we know it has done work. We do it again. Press circle and press X uh, options, and there you go. We're not, not stuck. As you can see, my character is moving in the background. Open and drag some into you. Go to direct mode. Okay. Launch directly mode, accept the alert instantly. You want to basically go to the casting. So you want to basically enter directly mode right now. As you say, I've done that right now. So now you want to do this quickly, all right? So you instantly open Interaction Mini once you spawn. Interaction Mini, go to vehicles and then pull out any car. There's no matter what car you pull out, just pull out a car. Okay, so it can be anything that's on there. So, but make sure it's the car that you actually put. So as you can see, there's still other cars in there, but it can be anything that you pretty much put. So. I'll just pull, pull this out right now, it's fine. So what's gonna happen is simple. You see the money on the top right, that means you've done it, okay? So now you just wait till you're fully frozen. And now as you can see, I'm fully invincible and frozen. What you wanna do is pretty simple, press options, go to online, go to your friends and invite your friend, okay? But your friend does not join you instantly, okay? So I'm just gonna invite my friend real quick. Uh, he was right there, oh well, let's do that screw. I'm just gonna invite my friend right now. So I'm going to invite my friend, you're going to hold and drag some in you, you're going to go to quit director mode, stay on this alert, and then tell your friend to accept the invite, okay? Once your friend is in the game, he will see the car in front of him, if he's done everything right, but if he's a nobody and he's done something wrong, please fucking have a go at him, and do it again, sadly. But if he's done it right, just do it, just get in the, tell him to get in the car, and then once he's in the car, close your game, fix your MTU, uh, make your internet settings fine, and then join the game back, 
and then yeah i'll just i'm just gonna show you guys that the car's actually there so just give me a second i'll be there with you guys in a second so guys my friend got an arrow he got three arrows and yeah it fucked up all right pretty much but that's how we do it your friend will not normally get an arrow if he, if he does get like an arrow just tell him to do it again and most of the time it works but if it doesn't work the second time just and try it again three times if it doesn't work three times you gotta do it all over again sadly all right so in my case as you can see that yeah it, it didn't really fuck for this time i'm guessing it's probably because i choose the card that i didn't actually make but it doesn't matter anyway now so what's gonna happen is simple all right you'll have the car you'll have the car away your friend will be having it you'll be loading back into his game he'll have the car whatever happens that do not go too far away from that uh, car okay if you go far away from that car that car will despawn it will disappear by itself all right so make sure you're near it at all times okay and if you know itself it makes sure you near it at all times and you will need to do the give cast to friends glitch if you don't know how to do the give cast to friends glitch there will be a give cast to friends glitch coming out eventually all right i, I will have i will be making a video of it soon enough but that's pretty much it for the DM. Oh yeah, hope you all enjoyed and yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace out. Have a great day. Safe.